international wall. And that's just coming up here on the right. Going up, bordering, or whatever they were caught at, they were all put in prison. While they were in prison, they were treated as criminals. They objected to the term criminal. They said, the, the nationalist side, the Republican side said, they were fighting a corrupt system that was very anti-Catholic, and that's why they were fighting. They were eventually awarded political status. What the political status meant, they never had to do any prison work. They never had to wear a prison uniform. They never had to wear a prison uniform. They, they had complete freedom of association in the prison. An actual fact, if the prisoner of the prison warder wanted to go in to check that everything was all right, he had to ask the prisoners, can I come in? So who the hell runs a place when a warder's asking, can I come in? Eventually Maggie Thatcher said, this is enough, and it's got to stop. So she tried to take the political status off. When she did, the first thing they done, they went and what you can see over here to the left, a blanket protest and refused to wash her shoe. They were known as the blanket men. Now that was going nowhere as a protest and stepped it up then to what they called a dirty protest. The dirty protest was not coming out of their cells. Everything was done for own cells and the spirit of own cells were not. Now this went on for three and a half years until a boy called Bobby Sands. When he came into the prison, he took over as the IRA commander. He stopped all other protests and he introduced the hunger strike. He was the first man to go on the hunger strike and he lasted for 66 days before he died. Wow. Now when Bob <coughs> Sands died, the rest of the men moving up this line, up the hunger strike line, the rest of them all moving up, but with the pressure from around the world, Irish America, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, anywhere there was an Irish boat going in to protest against Maggie Thatcher, telling her to get it all sorted out. Eventually, when the tenth man died, Maggie Thatcher then backed off and let them keep the political status. And that down here to your right is the 10 men that actually died on the hunger strike. But you'll see that when you go further down. We'll come back to this one here now. Over to the left we still have the Palestinian and the Israeli conflict. And I think the whole world knows about it. I, below and again we have the end of strip searching. Now the strip searching in the prison. At the moment, the reason it is strip searching apparently on the, on the government side is the fact that these prisons are flooded with drugs. The only way to stop them coming in was the introduced strip searching. Now the one thing about strip searching, I'm sure everyone knows what it means, but if my wife was in prison, she could lie there until she come out again before I would go in. There's no way I would go up to face a strip search. I don't care who it was, I wouldn't go into it. And I think that's maybe what's happening. That's why there's not as much drugs in the prison now. They're not getting the same amount of visitors. The next one we'll go on, these are the women that supported the POWs. That's the, the prisoner of war status at the heart. In front of me here, Garnica. It's a village in Spain that was actually bombed by Hitler during the Second World War as a favour to Franco. Picasso done the painting as a very anti-war thing. You can see the madness and everything. The next two here is done through Sinn Féin. And I'm sure you know Sinn Féin the political wing of the IRA. Sinn Féin are trying to turn this area we're in now into a Gulf Park area, which is an Irish speaking only area. But it's a wee bit too big. And now you've map and of course, their, their opinions mean more here and easier as an island. Again, below that, oppression breeds resistance. Again, everyone knows you can only keep people down for so long. Eventually, they'll all take back. Then we have the WBTA, that's the West Belfast Taxi Association. The likes of this boy on the far side going down into town. He's one of the, the uh, West Belfast taxis. They only operate up and down this road all day, away into 2 o'clock in the morning, and they charge the people in and out of the taxis the same price as the bus. It is quite a good system. Below that, as I said, we have the 10 hunger strikers, and below that again, we'll have Che Guevara, and everyone knows who Che Guevara is. Che Guevara was a, he's sending a message here to Mr. Obama asking the Americans to lift the blockades that they have on the The last one down here 
oppress racism. So go and have a look at them, have a read, take your photograph.